Let's go to Jonathan McCall now. He's in the zone. Hereford Zone usually one of the first places to, to make a decision to close. Jonathan? Yeah, and it's still snowing out here. Not as intense as it was not too uh, long ago when we first got out, out here early this morning. Uh, but the snow is still falling. It's just not as heavy as it was. But I do want to uh, point out a few things that I've just noticed in the last few minutes or so. Uh, some of the ice that's been hanging on these power lines has started to fall, which is an indication that temperatures are starting to rise in this area, which is causing some of that to uh, fall off of the lines. Something else we also want to point out, because that the temperatures are rising, some of the ice that was underneath the snow that we were showing you earlier is starting to melt. And it's the same issue in this parking lot that we've been watching crews clear out all morning and all afternoon long as well. We've also been watching those plow trucks as they've been going in and out of this area, taking care of a number of these roads. Uh, they've been going in, getting some more salt, and then quickly turning right back around, getting back out onto the roads to make sure that they are clear uh, for drivers who are not necessarily heeding the warning to just stay at home and chill out for the day. But uh, this area is uh, completely getting hit with that snow that's still continuing to fall here. A number of the businesses in this area concerned about their own worker safeties. Uh, safety is now uh, now planning to close later this afternoon. The one grocery store here says it's closing at four o'clock to make sure that all of their workers can uh, get home safe, safely. And one last thing I do want to point out. I want to thank everyone who has come by to make sure that my shoes are still on my feet. Uh, I told the story earlier today of my last snowstorm in Oklahoma where I lost a shoe live on the air and I had to do it for three hours. So thank you to everyone who has come out to make sure that I still have my shoes. And also want to point out this young man right here who is probably the coolest guy I know who can just walk in the middle of a Maryland snowstorm with basically nothing and still be happy. So that's the situation from here in North Baltimore County. We'll send it back to you guys on TV Hill. Okay, we're all covered now. Jonathan Shue, Rick Ritter's pants. It's all Everybody's perspective. Good. It's good. It's Everybody's all good. perspective. Let's go to the airport now. Mike Elgren is there at BWI Thurgood Marshall. He's been watching some planes take off. And as we've been saying, Mike, there have been some cancellations. And then, of course, you gave us some new news about Delta Airlines a, a few minutes ago. Yeah, that they had uh, run out of de-icing fluid, which means that there are going to be no more outbound Delta flights, but there are still some Delta flights that are inbound to BWI. And it's not just about the cancellations as well. There are across the country right now more than 8,000 delayed flights, much of that here in the Northeast because of this winter storm. I want to show you again this big de-icing machine, and they keep uh, having uh, just pouring snow inside of it, they, they melt down that snow. That is how they're able to, to keep the tarmac here so clear. But visibility is also an issue. And it's quite frankly tough to get to and from the airport because road conditions aren't that great everywhere. So not only for the passengers, but also for the crews that are helping out. And then if we go a little bit farther over, you can see this is, uh, we're near this, the southwest area. Uh, there are still a number of, uh, of planes here that are that are waiting to take off uh, but a lot of the flights the majority of the flights here are are either canceled or delayed at this point and again we told you about Delta with the de-icing fluid uh, we talked to a Southwest um, passenger who said that he was on a flight there was some trouble uh, with with getting that plane de-iced they had to deplane and then they were able to catch another flight a few hours later to get down to Florida but uh, still problems here at the airport to be expected in a situation like this the advice from officials here is to call ahead with your airlines a lot of people though are stuck here we talked to uh, some groups who come in from New York City trying to to get a, a flight out of here and they been stuck here since about uh, 10 o'clock this morning. So not very fun, but people are trying to make the best of it here at BWI.